That's it, that's all. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and my dumb editor. Yes, my dumb, dumb editor. He has forgotten to put in the third goal in the biggest game of the season in that last episode, Biscuit Face Gaming. Yes, I want to name him. I want to put his name out there. He forgot to put in the goal. He comes back from a few days off and does this. Should I fire him? Let me know yes or no in the comments down below. I'm just joking. Obviously, we all still love Biscuit. But yeah, we didn't have the third goal in the last episode. I'm going to show you guys the goal right now and then come back again. Davis, I needed that. It's 3-1. We're going to be out of the Champions League. We're going to be out of the Champions League. I cannot believe this is happening. So, there you guys could see it. Some guys were speculating in the comments down below. Like, I apparently completely raged out. And that, and then I told Biscuit to not include it into the video. Because I was screaming and raging. That's not what happened, as you guys could see. More than anything, I was devastated in the last episode. If you guys haven't seen it, please go ahead and, go ahead and watch it. Because I'm about to spoil it for you. It was one of the craziest episodes. Um, we have been kicked out of the Champions League. And it is hurt my soul yesterday i was so upset as roma have kicked us out 1-1 draw away from home and then at home they beat us 4-3 which i did not expect at all and uh now we have the premier league and the fa cup left to chase in the fa cup we're in the semi-finals and in the premier league guys it is only a one point gap between us and city and at the end of the season it is us against City in the last game of the season. This is about to be a crazy end to the season. We bottled the Champions League. We for sure are not allowed to bottle the rest. So make sure to go ahead and support the videos the way that you do by leaving comments, hitting that like and subscribing most importantly and turning on notifications as we get into this big game against the top scorer of the league. Harry Kane will be up against our defense. Wagner has returned from injury as you guys know but a lot of the players in the first team are extremely tired going into this game so we're gonna have to make some changes Perez Sayol takes over the position of Angol in the starting lineup Foyth comes in for Diop and Collins comes in for Gomez these players are too tired so we have to make changes Camara will be coming in and then also Lampru at the back. So it's a mixture of the reserves team and the main team going ahead against Spurs after that devastating loss. I am wondering how Bennett lost that much stamina. He's a goalkeeper. I don't know how that works out, but we're going to chase down the win. We want that Premier League title desperately. We just... It sucks, I know. It didn't work out, but we're going to chase it down. And there are a couple of comments that I need to mention. Here is one from Andrew Kennedy, and he says, I like that you lost in the Champions League. It's only your second season in the Prem, so it would be a little bit unrealistic for you to do the double treble already. Plus, it prolongs this amazing career mode, so, if I, so I don't mind it, he says, which is obviously great. Um, a lot of you guys are extremely dedicated viewers to this series. Um, there's like 20 to 25,000 people that watch this series every single day, which is an insane number, by the way, if you just think about it. But um, yeah, I do understand that you want the series to go on because obviously if we would have won all three titles this season, it would have ended right there. But now that we have lost in the Champions League, it seems like we will have to go again and try and grow our team even more to become even stronger. But that's the whole point of a road to glory. It is not a one season wonder. It is a long process. And I told you guys about it when we started. Now we do have a comment coming in here from Shadi Gozen. And he says, yo Johnny, you need to remember to put Angol as a captain whenever you're going to win a trophy because Angol carried this team to the top. Now, while that is true, I still think it will be kind of disrespectful to Wagner because he has been the captain throughout five years and then when we are about to lift a trophy we take away the captaincy from him and give it to someone else i don't think that's the way to go man even though angol is a crucial player for us wagner has been the captain of this squad he has grown from a little kid he has now become an absolutely amazing amazing player he has even changed positions within our squad so i think it would be a little bit disrespectful if we do that
Now, there's another comment that I really wanted to point out because, ah, man, it, it was crazy to see this. Mechplay says, Johnny, I went through a tough time in my life. I thought about ending my life, but your videos help, help, have helped me through it. I have my life back on track thanks to you. You make me laugh in every video. I'm enjoying every video. Continue to make everybody laugh and happy. I don't ask for likes. Uh, I just want to let Johnny know this. You're my hero. Uh, Mechplay's... Dude, I already commented back to you, but I really hope you are watching this video as well. Um, I know that a lot of people that are watching my videos are not really in the best mental state. A lot of people try to go onto YouTube to get away from their own lives and to kind of sink in into a world where everything isn't terrible. And I do understand that a lot of you guys are having really tough times. I personally had a very very depress de depression heavy time um, during a, a period where luckily Biscuit came into my life as an editor and I made the switch and I was just too stressed I couldn't deal with the workload that I had and I I just was too scared of lots of things in my life and um, luckily I made it through that period and I really am happy that I could help other people do the same um, I don't want to take full credit obviously for anything like this I really hope you guys have gotten proper help um, if you do feel very bad please if you ever ever even think about it for a second please just go ahead and call someone you don't even have to call like a hotline where you are being helped please just call someone that you know that you can trust and then talk to them open up about your feelings okay it is very important to do that i know this is all entertaining and all that good stuff but if this part of the video only gets to one person to open up to someone that is close to them to then feel better about themselves and then have newfound motivation that would be great so uh make place thank you so much for that comment that type of stuff man Sometimes YouTubers forget that type of stuff and for me to see something like that has just made my day, man. I'm really glad that I could help you and uh, hopefully I can do the same for other people as well. Harry Kane, top scorer of the Premier League. Can he pull it off against us? I don't know if he can, but I know one thing for a fact. That last loss of ours was terrible. And now back into the Premier League, chasing down that title up against one of the strongest sides in the league. Leighton Orient have a big task ahead of them. Can our team overcome that terrible loss that we have had to turn a season back around and say, you know what, one loss is not going to ruin everything. We're going to chase down the victories. Best defensive team in the league. Ooh, we have conceded 32. They have only conceded 25. Let's change that. Fourth against his former team. He's going to step up against, I think that was Lamela. Bennett gets it. It lands right in front of her opponent again. He's going to run through, play it across, and they shoot and score. 24 minutes. Not 24 minutes. Number 24 has scored after just seven minutes. Aurie runs through, gets the ball in. That sprint right there was just... Ugh. Is this happening again? Am I actually going to be losing the Premier League title as well? I cannot believe this is happening. This is ridiculous. Serge Aurier, 1-0, Tottenham. Ah, boys. I feel terrible. Oh, my God. Bennett. Bennett, Bennett, Bennett just about saves us in a 15th minute, man. I don't know how he just did that. Davis. Here we go. Davis. In a good spot. That's a free kick. Could have been a red. It's a yellow card for Ramos. It's not Sergio Ramos. It's Luis Felipe Ramos. Now, free kick, boys. You know what we do. We got one man on it. It's going to be Wagner. Can he get that early goal for us? Maybe not enough power. But the accuracy might be on. They just about deflect it off the wall. Camara chasing down Harry Kane. Harry Kane, not the most agile player. Still isn't. What is he doing? What is he doing? I'll take that. I'll take that, come on. Perez Sayol. Ferreira. Come on, Ferreira. Come on, Ferreira. If anyone can, you can. Ferreira. No. Maybe I should have gone for the finesse on his left foot. I was through, man. I could have equalized. Oh, good stuff. Go on. Go on. Lots of space. Begin. Oh, no. The space is gone. Ferreira. Go on, then, son. This time. This time, yes! Jesus Ferreira! We're not giving up on the Premier League title, boys! We're not giving up! This is not the one to lose! Whew. Let's go! Alright, we continue. 
we will try and chase it down even more now. Oh man, we're back into it, boys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Bring it back into the middle. There's another one. Davis. Davis. If anyone can, you can. Davis. One too many defender. We have got Mac into the game, though, so I'm really happy to see that. Our team just needs to do a little bit better in terms of, like, building up the attacks. Defensively, we look okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Harry Kane against Bennett. He is just the best in the league. He might not have the most clean sheets because, obviously, we're playing against insane, insane opponents now on this ultimate difficulty. But he is still... One of the best, if not the best, goalkeeper in the league. I don't care. He has the best reflexes out of any of them. Collins, what a ball that is into Bennett. Bennett now cutting in. Ah, do the Baba spin, bro. No one does step overs there anymore. Oh, mine. No, I messed up. Tottenham still going forward with Harry Kane. Why is no one attacking this man? He turns and shoots. 60 second, boys. We don't have that much time left in this game. We gotta do something. We gotta do something. I need that victory. I can't be getting a draw. Cross coming in. Foyth jumps. Doesn't get it. Goalkeeper grabs it out of the air. 71st. We had our chance there. I think I'm about to make some changes and I should make them right now if I can. It is gonna be Ferreira coming off. It is Angol actually coming into the game now. Maybe with his uh, remaining pace he can do something. Santos Martins down the left and then we bring in Brecalo as a midfielder. Yes, because why not? Yes, Davis. Go on, Davis. Good pass. Ferreira and the boys are still on the pitch. Still on the pitch. Ferreira. Good pass. Perezayol. Ferreira again. Ferreira, can you do it? Ferreira, can you do it? <sighs> what a save. What a save, man. 81st. We move into... Santos Martins. Santos Martins now with the space. He will play it in behind for Perez Sayol. Was he offside? Yes, he was by inches again, I think. Let's take a look at it. I think it was really close. The defense moved out and then ah, he's just about offside. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Camara, please. Oh, please. Yes, fourth. Yes, fourth. Come on. Counter-attack him. Counter-attack him. Why are you coming close on goal? I guess you want the ball. I guess you want the ball. Angol gets it. Angol moves. Angol on the move. Lee Angol on the move. Lee Angol on the move. Can he pull it off? Finish shot. It's Lee. Lee freaking Angol get in. He does it. 2-1. Tottenham are beaten. Lee Angol as a super sub. We have not seen him do that very often because he's normally in a starting lineup. Look at the Leighton Orient fans. Lee Angol runs past number 13. I believe that is Luis Felipe. Get in, man. What a goal. What an important goal for the title chase in the Premier League. There's only one hero in this team and his name is Lee Angol. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Bennett. Oh, my God. Oh my god, how the hell did I just survive that? We just about got away with that one, lads. Really lucky. Yes, it's a victory, boys. Get in! <sighs> Alright, that was needed. That was much needed, man. I felt bad. As, as soon as I conceded the goal early on, I knew that something was about to go down, but we have done well to come back. And that just means even more knowing that the last game we got beaten in a really, really bad fashion. And now Leighton Orient had more shots on target, had basically the same amount of possession. And I think we were the better team at the end, so quite glad about that. RDA with his pace burst was just unstoppable. I'm very happy that we could pull off a victory in that game, man. Because knowing that we had a lot of players that were from the reserves team to beat Spurs like that was huge. Because Man City, as you can see, have won their game. Now we're up against Newcastle United, which is a team that I'm genuinely not scared of. Newcastle is in the 11th position, 47 points. They have conceded 45 goals this season, which is a big number. And uh, we do have one of the best attacks in the game. I do wonder if I should just sim this one or do I not risk it? I kind of want to move on into the Liverpool game, guys. I got to be honest. I want to play that FA Cup semi-final in this episode and then have the next episode be the season finale. But um, yeah, let's see how it goes. I think... I think do I? Let me see. Is the first team ready? Let's just bring back the players, the originals, and then see 
if we are fully fit for a matchup against Newcastle. I think we, we I think we will be because in the FA Cup, as you guys might know or might remember, I have said that I want to win it with the reserves team. And I'm going to try and pull it off up until the end. So FA Cup, we're going to play with the reserves team and see if the talents can do it. But against Newcastle, I think we can sim and just hope for the best, really. So here goes nothing, lads. Let's see if this works into our favor. In their last three matches, they had every single result possible. Um, Begin has scored and Shelby has responded immediately. All right. Now he has gotten a yellow card as well. Man City already winning 2-0 after only... 20 something minutes come on guys please don't mess this up for me now city is winning 3-0 jesus ferreira get in man let's go keep it up please 10 minutes to go 10 minutes to go yes come on we did it boys joe gomez picked up an injury though oh man he's getting injured often isn't he he was gone for a couple of months and now he's gone for six weeks again joe gomez come on man I should have known better when I signed him. I should have known he is injury prone. Oh, wow. I should have known he's injury prone. <laughs> Put a beat behind that. Um, that's terrible. We do need a uh, fourth back. I don't mind having fourth in the team. He's a beast. Um, so that's okay. But losing out on Joe Gomez is not something I would have liked to see happen. But it did happen now. And we got to move on. We got to move on. We have one though. And Man City have as well. So... Uh, the point gap between us and City is still only one point with a couple of games to go. But here it is. This team of youngsters up against this team of insane players. We're going to attend the press conference. We're going to boost up the confidence of these guys that we have in the reserves team. They definitely need it. Uh, we do need our team to be at the top level after every single game. And now... This is very, very important for us because um, these youngsters will be get, getting boosted in their stats against a very, very strong Liverpool side who are in the top four of the Premier League. So, yeah, I don't know what to expect in this one, lads. I am happy that we have won against Spurs, but I feel like this could be us dropping out. We are actually at the Wembley, aren't we? Oh, boys. Oh, man, I am excited about this. Liverpool fans already singing, both teams wearing the red kits, obviously, but we are coming in in the nice and yellow that we have. Liverpool have beaten Aston Villa and um, QPR on their way. I think we have beaten some bigger teams. So let's see who's the better squad. Four goals on Salah in the last, four ma in the last three matches. And he has been known to destroy Lamprou in the past. So Lamprou, show me if you are good enough now. Fourth now forced to play in both teams, not only the reserves, but also the main team. Here goes Carlos Santos Martins, though. Carlos Santos Martins now through on the finish. Get in! It is a goal against Liverpool in the FA Cup semi-finals for the regen of Ronaldo, for the second coming of Ronaldo. Of course he had to do it. Leighton Orient, 1-0 up. Get in, boys. Beautiful scenes. Let's go. Counter-attacking football. We're back. Roma might have destroyed us for one episode. But trust me, this team will never give up. And that is exactly what we're showing right there. Santos Martins into the back of the net only in the seventh minute. His first goal in the FA Cup. Could this young team actually kick out Liverpool, man? Salah will look on the case. I do know that he wants to cut back, but I'm not going to allow him to do so. Lampru, there we go. That's what I want to see. Santos Martins now. He plays it. Beautiful. Fermerlin down the right we go. Here goes Cook. Cook also in the reserves team for some reason. I don't know why, actually. We do get it into Perez Sayol. Why is Cook playing in a reserves team? Where's Brecalo? Brecalo should be in the squad. Tamara. Well done down the wings against Alain Saint-Maximin, who is now playing for Liverpool. Very interesting. <laughs> The man who has all the memes on Twitter when it comes to Newcastle. Here we go, Santos Martins. He has the space. He's just going to wait for the right moment to play it into Willock. Willock, come on, lad. You've been here for a long time and it was your moment to shine. He could not do it. There he is. Defensively, he is sound. I like that. Oh, Fermilin messes up. Probably my favorite midfielder in this team. Oh, somehow they're getting through everyone. Fourth. It's a shot and 
Young comes in flying, saving it nicely. Young obviously in behind Bennett uh, in his shadows. Doesn't really get that much playtime, but good to see him at least get that save, which seemed like a really tough one to get to. Fermer Lynch chasing down Mo Salah, never giving up. And Perez Sayol now with the run of Cook. This is it. This is it, Cook. If you're playing, at least make something of it. Why does he do that one? Just do the regular... F Dude, if he does the regular fake shot, I get past the goalkeeper and score. I didn't even press L2 or anything for him to do that scoop turn. Bro, I should have scored there. Oh, Perez Ayol again. Come on, let's make up for it. Good save. Fermulin! Let's go! Fermulin never scores. This might be the first goal of Fermulin. I don't think he has ever scored. Or is that Gera Perez? It is Gera Perez. Get in, mate. Beautiful. Yes! 2-0. FA Cup semi-final. Liverpool. What's up, man? What's up? Huh? You're fourth in the Premier League and you can't beat our reserves team. What's going on here? Robertson still playing at Liverpool. Right-footed cross. Okay, you guys need to calm down with these headers from outside the box, man. Genuinely, they're just too crazy. Get up, Perez. Try to get to that one, but it's a little bit tougher than that. Fermerlin and Get up, Perez have the same colored shoes, hence why I do mix them up. Here goes Get up, Perez, though. Counter attacking football once again. Down the right we go. Liverpool just can't cope with this formation. I think we played against them once with this team, anyways, and they just couldn't do well. Didn't we win like five something? I remember, didn't we have like a massive victory this season against Liverpool with uh, a formation that just cracked them open? I, I just feel like Liverpool is very susceptible to counters and we've used it in some games already this season. Willock, don't mess this up. Willock, you did mess it up. You know what? Willock alongside Fermilo and Gera Perez doesn't look that good, man. These guys can move forward and do things, but Willock doesn't really. And it's sad to see because I really enjoyed him in the first season when he played alongside Davis. He was actually quite amazing. But right now, he just feels a little bit behind the power curve of our team. Good ball. Santos Martins, I see you. I see you making that run, bro. That's yours. That's yours, man. Come on. Come on. One more. Yes. One more. Let's do it together. Sue. <laughs> Getting. He scores again. Liverpool just not able to deal with the pressure. The counter-attacks are too crazy for this team. Their defensive line is way too high. And there's so much space in behind. And if you give me space in behind, I will score. What a goal that is from Santos Martins. Holds off Trent Alexander-Arnold and, and then just puts it into the bottom right corner. Two goals in the FA Cup semi-finals. That is a memory that he will never forget. Oh, wow. They are now bringing on Sadio Mane when they're down 3-0. Interesting. I did not expect Sadio Mane to still be in the team and be on the bench. So it seems like Liverpool haven't really taken us too seriously going into this game. And it will be to their detriment. Now, obviously, Liverpool have done the same in real life. They're going to be up against Shrewsbury. And uh, they are using the reserves. Not even the reserves. The youngsters, really. Oh, that's a hat-trick, isn't it? That's a hat-trick. What is that cross? That was supposed to be a low-driven. What the hell? But going back to the topic, Liverpool and Klopp have decided to play the youngsters and make a statement for the FA. Um, hopefully, it's going to work out because I do feel like the FA uh, might have a little bit too much power and their scheduling is a little bit terrible. Uh, the football players do deserve a little bit of a break and that really helps with injuries and all that stuff. But yeah, I, I, I do hope that in future the FA Cup ties can be set up properly. Sadio Mane against Kamara. There's no getting past Kamara. The man is a giant. The man is too strong. He just gets in tackles on everyone. He does not care. Collins to Kamara. Kamara into the middle. And we move it down to Santos Martins who wants his hat-trick it seems. But he's not going to get it I think today. Good stuff though from the team man. I'm really proud of this young squad to get a result like this. Is that going to be a goal? No, it isn't. Liverpool are being pushed out and it is going to be offside. Liverpool did not take this game seriously. They had Mane on the bench. That just tells you everything. And that has cost you, Liverpool. We have just beaten one of the strongest sides in the Premier League with our youngsters. When it comes down to the finale, 
now we know that we are taking part in it boys liverpool have messed up and these guys alongside this man right here santos martins these lads are about to chase down that title one more game separates this young team from winning their first major trophy but before we even get into the fa cup finale i think we will have to finish up the premier league so at that point we will know are we going for a double or just one trophy lads it is actually city against leighton orient in the final okay so man city oh man if it comes down to that i'll be so mad man city the best team in the league after us of course is up in that fa cup final now and also we will have literally a final against them in the premier league an incredible season is coming forward to complete in a incredible moment in that last episode we are working towards it we are trying our best to get our team into a position of just success man i mean it is already success for us to be competing for the premier league in our second season in it which i really highly appreciate but man i want the i want those titles i want both of them i really really do and i do believe that our team is strong enough we are still training our youngsters as you can see um we're just trying to make these guys even better players than they are than they already are but um i hope we can get at least one of the titles if i could choose in between the two i would probably pick the premier league of course um because um that has a lot more value but I like the FA Cup like in the past when I was younger the FA Cup was seen to, for me as like a massive pro trophy whoever won it has had so much prestige and somehow in these past years it, it really has gone into into like a cup that no one really cares about at least outside of England it's sad to see I personally loved the FA Cup in the past and I always loved to watch the FA Cup finals it was like a Super Bowl final for me as a kid I really enjoyed it and um, now to see it like being devalued de as it, as it is right now it's quite sad to see but Wolves is up next guys then we have Everton then we have Arsenal and then we have City twice in potentially the premier league finale and also the fa cup finale and you know what i think we're not going to get an entire episode of a season finale tomorrow tomorrow is going to be wolves everton and arsenal boys and then we will have another episode for city and city thank you for watching we are preparing ourselves for an epic season finale have a great day guys santos martins is the hero of today take care Peace.